guys. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial for you on this look. It's just a really simple, straightforward um, purple lid with a little bit of a midnight blue outer corner type thing. I'd say it's more of an um, nighttime look. You could definitely use it during the day uh, if you just kind of tone it down. I'm actually going to go out today and wear it. So um, yeah, if you like the look, just keep on watching. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, so as always, we're going to go ahead and start with a primer just to make sure that our shadows last all day and stick and do not crease. And you can go ahead and be pretty generous with that and just apply it pretty much everywhere since we're going to be applying the shadow all over the lid and underneath as well. So next, a little trick that I learned recently at MAC is um, before anything, before applying your eyeshadows, to make sure that they don't kind of um, get sticky since you applied the primer, go ahead and just apply a little bit of powder. Just apply a little bit of that all over the lid and it just kind of softens everything and makes it blend way easier. And you don't have to be precise with it, you just add it everywhere. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to apply a matte soft brown color as my transition color. It just makes it a more of a smooth transition between all the colors on your eyelid and the colors that go in your crease up to your brow. Next I'm going to go in with Majestic Violet. And it's just a really pretty lavender purpley color. Really vibrant. And I'm just going to use my little shader brush like this. I'm going to pack it all over my eyelid. And make sure when you're applying this that you pat it on instead of um, sweeping it on because it's going to give you better color payoff. And you want to stop just below your crease. And it's probably going to be messy, but that's okay because you're just going to go back in with your little fluffy brush friend and blend out that nasty line right there. So like this. Next I'm going to take Mountain Blue and it's just a really pretty indigo color with a few sparkles in it. It's really pretty. I love it. And we're going to go ahead and just really lightly apply this to kind of your outer V, just like the outer portion of your eye. I'm not going to take this too far into the crease because I don't want it to be super dramatic. So just very lightly work that in there. And again, do not be too dramatic with it because it's very pigmented and it's better to start slowly and lightly than to add too much. So then I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out just a little bit of the blue that we just added to our outer corner. I'm just going to soften it and kind of try to pull it over just a little bit into your crease but not insane. The so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Lily White. I'm going to use that on my highlight in my inner corner. So I'm going to apply it just below my brow bone. And then I'm going to apply it to my inner corner as well. And yeah, I know this is totally an unconventional inner corner brush, but I all my other brushes are dirty, so gotta improvise a little bit. Next I'm gonna go in again with that blue color that I use on my outer corner and I'm gonna apply it just below my eye on my lower lash line. And I'm not gonna go all the way with this, I'm gonna stop about three quarters of the way in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner and my mascara and I'll be okay, right Okay guys, so I'm back. All I did uh, to complete the look was just add my winged liner and some mascara, a little bit of white liner on the waterline. So that's the finished look. You can definitely tweak it to your liking. You know, if you're going to go out at night, definitely you can darken the colors. You can add crazier wings. You can add false lashes, anything you like. But this is just the basic, um, really simple I just think it's really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely try out the look for yourself and let me know what you think. And 
All the product information is going to be listed in the down bar. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you're on Instagram or Twitter, definitely follow me. I will post those links in the down bar below. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!